Hello, what's going on guys? It's me, Order here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be installing the newest Fortnite Chapter 6 on Mac. Of course, if you don't have it yet, in the description below, go download FN Mac Assistant. If you want a more conclusive how I go step by step by step, in the description below, there's one called How to Install Chapter 5 on Mac. It won't be installing chapter 5, don't worry. But that is a really step-by-step -step tutorial on everything you have to do. This is going to be more of an, a, a get up to date for the people that have already watched the previous videos that we've had on Fortnite for Mac. So, of course, just open your Fortnite Mac Assistant. Uh, you're going to want to, of course, get the full screen IPA unless you enjoy playing on the weird resolution. I, I like my game looking snazzy. So you're going to want to download the IPA. This may take a little bit of time. From what I have gathered, it kind of just seems like, I don't know if it's just my Mac slowing down, like if I need to, if I need to go through and reset it or whatever, but it does, it does kind of be struggling. But then again, I'm also on hotspot internet, so you know. Probably that one. Anyways, while we're waiting for this download, we can go ahead and get Sideloadly loaded up. Of course, Sideloadly, if you don't already have it, in the description below, go download it real quick. It is essential for this, of course. So, here we go. Now, I've heard a lot of people saying that no device shows up. And typically when that happens, it's either they don't have an M1 based Mac, please know that you have to have an M series MacBook for this. If you want to play Fortnite on an Intel based Mac, depending on your hardware, you can probably boot camp into it and just run on low settings. Now, so I saw some MacBook Pros, some more recent MacBook Pros like the 2019 models, getting great FPS on high settings, so it depends on your hardware. But if you're on Apple Silicon, this is the only way currently to play Fortnite, unless they re-add support, which I personally am a big defender of them re-adding support. But anyways, off the off of my soapbox. So inside Loadly, whenever you're ready to install the game, and FN Mac Assistant has told you that your game is fully downloaded, you're gonna want to make sure that the device says Apple Silicon with these random numbers. Go here. You're gonna want to go to your downloads. Find the full screen IPA, open it. You can go into here and you know change the app name. I I never have done that. I pretty just leave pretty much everything in here alone. Then just click start. This this auto refresh in and in is useless. You don't have to refresh files on macOS. You do for iPhone. You do for iPhone, but not macOS. So, it's done. So then, make absolutely sure that you do this. It is integral that you open the game, like now. You're going to want to go to your applications folder, kind of scroll around, find fortnite.app, open it, let it tell you that it, that it needs you to you know, verify it, go to your system settings, Go to privacy and security. Go to open anyway. Open. Now, after that works, let it open and crash. You want to see that crash because that is creating the game files. That is mapping your system and telling it it knows what that is. If you start messing around with the app before you can even open it, it's just going to mess the game up and then you're going to be soft locked and you're going to have to wait until the next Fortnite update. So make sure that you let the app open and crash before you click patch app. <coughs> Excuse me. After you click patch app, it should tell you your 49's patched. Then you can double click the game and open it. Now I have heard some people telling me that they have had some issues with downloading and stuff. I'll be honest, I have too. I don't know how to fix it. Currently, the this downloading, it gets to like one gigabyte and then shoots backwards and shoots forwards. 
you just gotta let it sit. It's a glitch. It's been a glitch since chapter five. You kind of just got to let it chill and let it do its thing and it'll eventually download and just check on it periodically. I, I've had some updates take like 10 seconds to 10 minutes and then I've had some updates take like 30 minutes. It really depends. Keep in mind, this is jerry-rigged to all hell. I mean, you're putting an iOS application that's not even allowed in the in the United States technically on your MacBook to play. So, you know, if you think about it, that is insane. But yeah. Pretty much just like I said, let it sit, check on it periodically. It'll download. And you're good. Um keyboard and mouse support, of course, does not work. I figured I would include that because I get a lot of questions about that. Keyboard and mouse it is not gonna work guys if you want to play this you're gonna need an Xbox or PlayStation controller PlayStation 4 Xbox one PlayStation 5 Xbox series controller all of them work uh, switch controllers don't work joy con may I don't know I have a pro controller and it does not work I'm not sure if you have joy con try it tell me in the comments if it works or not so I can start telling people that that works but Pretty much that's it guys that's how you get fortnite chapter 6 on your mac hopefully in the next state of mac os video i'll get some uh i'll get some good news coming towards the mac community currently we we keep being shut down by epic we think that a few insiders were either reporting the celestial discord server to epic or epic was inside of the server like they had a community manager someone in the server reporting back so they could strike it but I think we've weeded them out because Celestial has been up for over a month for for the first time in a hot minute and we're not getting like actively persecuted yet so yeah anyways that's all for today's video thank you all for watching it's been order and see ya